Coach Burks uh, had some chances here, led a lot of the way against our Weaver. What's the main message to the team after a tough loss like this? Well, we battled with a state-ranked team, tough team. Uh, you know, I, the guys know we should have, could have had that, but you gotta, gotta give credit to our Weaver too. They, they, every chance, you know, we thought we could put them away, especially late in the game. They came back and answered. Uh, you know, I think it was top of the fifth and top of the sixth, or whatever it was, both innings. Or you know, we were two-zero, they made it two-two. We made it four-two, they made it four-four. And they were very resilient. It shows, you know, those, you know, when you look at Danner and Shirky and all those kids that they've had for multiple years, they've got a handful of seniors, six or seven or whatever. That veteran leadership really showed off. Josh Lang and Tyler Reebok both threw well. They both kept you in the game. Yeah, Josh, especially early on, you know, he really was in a groove. And, you know, we got out of that jam in the first. I think that really settled things down. Tyler threw the kid out at second. You know, the Shirky kid, you know, not, not an easy kid to throw out at second. You know, we get the next out. I get, avoid a big jam there early, and then he Josh really cruised till the fifth. And the third time around, a lineup of a team of as veteran as they are, they made the adjustments. They could kind of figure out what Josh was doing, and Josh just threw you know two nights ago, so I think he just lost a little bit of steam. So I knew I was going to have to go to Tyler pretty quick, and we did. And you know, Tyler threw fine for the most part. They just they just squared a couple balls up, and and defense had a few miscues behind him, and it kind of snowballed there. You'll say goodbye to two good seniors at the corner infield with Williamson and Inman. Give me a comment on those two guys. Yeah, you know, Mickey's the guy that everybody kind of probably talks about, remembers, because he's been playing varsity forever now. Um, you know, he played as an eighth grader in the outfield a little bit. He hit five or six hole even as an eighth grader, and then from freshman year on, he was in the three four hole forever. Um, you know, all conference, all Southwest Iowa type of kid. Um, you know, and Garrett Garrett really came on the past couple of years. You know, first when he came up, thought he might play second base. And really grew, you know, sprouted up. He had pretty strong arms. We put him on the, at third. It really played, really suited him pretty well. Um, you know, his sophomore year was a little, a little sketchy there because he was just the first time really playing there in his career. And then his junior year, senior year, pretty, pretty accountable, pretty accountable kid. And we could count on him all the time. Uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty nice to just pencil those guys into pretty much the middle of the lineup for a couple of years and know what you're going to get out of them. We'll miss him. Not just because you led most of the way, but because you even had chances too to reclaim the lead at the end, runners on base, and just couldn't cash in. How heartbreaking is a loss it's, like this? Yeah, that close to an upset bid. It's it's heartbreaking, you know. Nolan thinks he gets hit by a pitch, and they bring him back. He gets down 0-2. They think, oh crap, here we go, and and then he laces a double down the line. You got the you know probably the fastest kid on the team with the best hitter at the plate. Uh, hits that one back to the mound, and Nolan was thinking it was going to get through, and he gets stuck in no man's land. Uh, it was big, you know. It, you know, Nolan's a kid that came out as an eighth grader, didn't come out as his freshman, sophomore years, or the first half of his junior. Decided to come out halfway through the year, um, and we really, really, really <laughs> appreciated his him coming out. You know, before that, he just he, he, we were playing another extra eighth grader, and you plug a, an athlete like him in there is a, a big thing for him. So I know it's going to be hard on him. It's one of those things where he's he's basically you know a freshman out there for the most part. It's really, his first varsity action was this year, and the second half of the year. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. You know, sometimes the breaks go your way, sometimes they don't. We had some breaks go our way early. You know, we had some bang bang plays that went our way. They booted a few more balls than usual. Um, you know, and at the end, the, the breaks kind of went their way. It's, that's how sports go sometimes. The good news is you got a lot of young guys, varsity experience, and next year looks pretty good. Yeah, we're excited. You know, when you, you got Josh Tyler Nolan in your senior class, possibly bring Joseph Zeiger back, depending on how his stuff goes. Um, and we could have four really, really, really talented seniors. And then you bring in those three kids that will be sophomores next year that played every game of varsity this year with um, Marcus Olson, Skyler Schultz, Jackson Jensen. Oh, there's seven pieces right there, and the two eighth graders played a lot this year. The two plucky boys, that would be nine. You know, but there will be competition for spots. You never know how it's going to go. Who's going to, who's going to really put in the time? Who's going to get bigger, faster, stronger, and demand a spot? You know, we we like that competition. We're excited about our incoming eighth grade class too. You know, there could be eight to ten kids in that class. It should be nice to get back to the 18, 19, 20 range where. You know, these these freshman eighth graders are playing JV and varsity a lot of times. It was a long season. You know those hot nights when you're playing double hitters, it wears on you. So we're looking forward to getting you know more numbers and, and returning you know pretty much eight letter winners as well. Good showing here tonight, Coach. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Appreciate it.